boss girl, hey, boss girl, boss girl, hey, boss girl, boss girl, hey, 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 hey. Hey, y'all. Let me stop doing the most of my life. Hopefully, I'm in focus a little bit. Am I in focus? Good, okay, so today I have a story time for y'all. But before we get into the story time, I am doing a giveaway on my channel. And the giveaway consists of my five, my five top favorite beauty products. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, it is still open. Go in my previous video, the about a year ago 2015 tag that I did and go into the giveaway. The giveaway is for when I hit 200 subscribers. So go and check it out. It's not closed. It is open. So just so you know, the link will be in the description below or I'll have something over here. Something. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to this video. So, this story happened when I was, like, 10 or something like that. Not 10, because I was in elementary school, so I want to say um, 10 will be too old. 10 will be, like, middle school, so t how old was I? I don't even know. I think I was in four, third, fourth grade. So, however old you are when you're in third or fourth grade. So, it was, sadly, it was one of my crush. So, I don't know if I've told you guys about my life, okay? But, when I was in elementary school, and when I was in school period, I was bullied as a child. And this guy who I liked at the time, from my diary apparently, I liked him. <laughs> so, um, I think I liked him at the time. And it was like Valentine's Day. So, you know, everybody brought their little candies and cards and shared it out with the class. Because, you know, you had to be nice to everybody. So, it was after school. I'm trying to remember this, what exactly happened. Because it was after school. And usually me and my best friend always walks home after school. So, it was after school. And he was with his buddies or whatever. And, you know, as always, I had someone, like, harassing me or bothering me. So, we left and we were walking home from school. So, I don't remember what exactly happened that took place, like, before, before, like, you know, the situation. But I remember just walking and I kept, I felt like something hit me. So, I was like, what is hitting me? And I turned around because, mind you, him and his friends would always talk about me. I had a strong accent because I'm Jamaican, so I spoke Patwa. So, I had a strong accent. Everybody kept trying to, like, you know, shame me for being Jamaican. Say, shame me for having an accent. And, like, being really mean and cruel and calling me stupid and an idiot and a dummy and all this stuff. So, and then fat jokes came along later. So... Him, his friends, I think they were like, when I walked past, they were trying to make fun and stuff. So I just ignored them with my friend and we kept walking and going home. But sadly, I liked him even though he was my bully, which was weird because he would torment me and be mean. But then when he was by himself, he'd be nice. So it was like when he was with his friends, he was mean and he would like he he ha ha and like make jokes. And when he was by himself, he was nice to me. So I don't know. So I guess that's why I liked him. I don't know. I was like, what? Second grade, I was seven, so I was like eight, nine. So, yeah. So, we were, me and my friends were walking home, and I kept fe feeling like something hitting me. Like, it just felt like a little sting or something. And I turned around, okay? And this boy was right behind me with a stick, like a stick that fallen off of a tree. And he was just whacking me. Like, he was just hitting me and hitting me and hitting me. And just, he was just hitting me with a stick. And I. I just started crying. I mean, I'm like eight. Like, what? 
I started crying and running, and he was still hitting me, and his friends was across the street by the school, because we didn't even make it that far off the school. We just literally across the street, okay? We, the school's right here. I'm over here like this. The school's right here, and literally we were right here across the street. Like, we had just made it across, across the crosswalk. And he was just hitting me and hitting me, and I was just crying, and my friend... <laughs> she didn't do anything. Um, so we ended up just running and crying. Well, me running and crying. And then we went home. And, like, I ran home. And I was crying. My parents was like, what's wrong? And then we told him, like, this boy was hitting me. And da 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 And he this and that the other. And da 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 So my mom and my grandma, they both walked up to the school. Because I came home crying. And you could look, literally, I'm light. You see? Well, when I was younger, I was really fair-skinned. So you saw the welts and the red marks on my legs, on my arms, on everything. And, like, I was literally welted up. So she brings it to the principal. It just happened. Like, not even, like, five minutes. Because I didn't live far from the school. So I'd run. And we actually ran the whole block. I don't know how I did that. Because, Lord, whew, running. Now I'm just like, uh-uh. Not going to happen. But I... We ran, and we told my parents what happened, and my grandma and my mom went to the school. Whew! She gonna give me, and back then, it was like a, I think it was an ODR, like, something like that. It was like, basically a write-up or something. This little trick, I can't even call her racist, because he was, he was black, too. <clears throat> but she gave us both an ODR. But they didn't fix anything, like, they didn't solve anything. She gave him an ODR and said... On the ODR, she told my parents, she told my parents when I came up there, when they came up there, because I didn't come up there, my parents just went up there. And when my parents came back, they were like, oh, you got an ODR. I was like, what? Why? He's the one who hit me. And she says, oh, you kissed him. I said, I said, what? She was like, they said that you kissed him or whatever. I was like, me? <laughs> I was like, me? <laughs> I was like, are you sure? So she gave me an ODR saying that I kissed him. So you gave me an ODR. Because apparently I kissed this guy. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when was that? Like, this is before or after he decides that he wants to hit me with the stick. I'm confused. So basically, the next day, when I went in there, the next day when I had school, I went in there, and I had to talk to her about what happened. I don't even remember the conversation, but I was really upset. I was just sitting there like... And she's like, do you know why you're here? I'm like, yes, because you gave me an ODR saying that I kissed somebody when he hit me with the stick. And he was, like, literally beating me with the stick. She's like, you know, we don't tolerate that type of something, something in the school. I'm like, where? Because, obviously, your student decided to hit me. I mean, like, literally, the kids were sitting here bullying, like, in class. Like, we're in class. And, first of all, the teachers wasn't doing anything about it. Like, I was being bullied. And they, them kids was bold, okay? Did they decide to, oh, let me report this because this isn't right. <laughs> nope. So, the fact that your student decides to hit on me, you give me in trouble? I get an ODR saying that I kissed this boy. So, how do I get an ODR because I kissed him? And can you give me a video of me kissing him? Because I would really like to see that. So, you know, I just didn't talk. I was just like, okay. And I just accepted it. And basically, I got in trouble. Mm -hmm. I got in trouble. And he got like a little slap on the wrist. And I was like, oh, okay. That's how y'all do things up in here. <laughs> okay. All right, mm-hmm, whatever. So I just left that as that, and I tried never to have to go in her office or anyone's office ever again because I don't, I didn't understand like how is how I was getting in trouble. Like, no. So I just tried as a child not to get in trouble because I didn't want to have to deal with anybody's crap of getting in trouble and getting an ODR written up, written up, or whatever the case may be. 
And later on in life, I end up seeing her at a restaurant, and I swear to you, I gave her the dirtiest, dirtiest look ever. I was just like, mm. Mm. I don't know who she was with, but I gave both of them just, mm. And I kept the moving, and she looked right at me, and I was like, Mm. Okay, if you don't know, well now you know. If you guys like more story times, please let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. I do have some more stories, okay? And you'll probably see this outfit in another video because I'm pre-recording right now because school starts, okay? And so I might pre-record some videos for you guys, so you might see this in another story time or something, so don't be alarmed, okay? <laughs> And also, you'll see this video in my haul. I'm doing a haul, a clothing haul. So, whenever that goes up, they'll be in the link below. I don't know if this is going to go up before or after. I don't know what's going to happen. But either way, go and check out my clothing haul because it's cute. And I look like Aaliyah right now. Well, I'm, I don't look like Aaliyah, but I'm getting Aaliyah vibes, you know. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.